Congratulations, uh, both of you. First uh, question to you then, so what went through your head when you scored a goal? What do you think in a moment like that? A great moment. You can also feel a little bit of frustration because of my first intent in the first half. You want to score, and so this was a big relief, but now I could uh, make the goal and uh, finish it perfectly. Yeah, Did you still believe in a uh, good yeah, end of the game? Yes, of course. That's the reason why I scored the goal. I think so, because uh, we kept believing in it and uh, I, I knew there would be some more opportunities and that's the moment when you have to be ready. One more question, Frank. Frank um, in one game, we've seen a lot of faces uh, of this out. Of this, um, of this team, or what happened? Uh, this is uh, the team that um, I would uh, like to see in the time we spend most with. The moment that you have to um, encounter two goals, uh, that's obviously not uh, what we want to see. But I've seen a Dutch uh, team uh, played um, very uh, balanced. We also played uh, dominant. Uh, so this is what we would like to see and uh, i think that uh, we can be proud hopefully uh, hopefully we can uh, make some more steps like we've been doing so far thanks a lot martin for your question willem Fisser from the dutch new paper uh, the folks can go ahead both of you, congratulations. Denzel, you almost played like a right wing forward player. In what way can you say it was difficult for you? No, I wouldn't say it was difficult. Of course, it's better than I can play with a lot of speed. And um, that's the style I like to play, and I'm also making progress, I think so, at least I have to say, so that's what I feel. And uh, I want to be as much as I can in the, the kind of the area of the opponent, and when I defend also be uh, the best of mine. Give the best of me when I defend as well. We go to the next question. Frank, congratulations. Those two uh, goals against the, your uh, team, uh, what happened to the organization? Where did it go? Well, Sinchenko, he changed uh, his position. He started to play almost as a left wing uh, forward player uh, because the answer was, uh, was gone. Marlos uh, was substituted, so Sinchenko uh, started to play as an out uh, uh, side player and winger. Uh, so our defense was lacking. That's the reason why we had uh, the second goal. I think so. Uh, they were looking for uh, Sinchenko behind the lines or behind between the lines, I have to say, I'm sorry. So this is something that we should uh, learn from and be better in the next time. Uh, Ten seconds before it all happened, uh, we could see it coming and Jan Malinko. And he was also uh, trying to look for it. So you know he's left-footed and uh, it's famous for it. So you have to uh, defend it better. And of course, we did not do that. So yeah, it was a great goal, of course. Uh, but it was not necessary. And the second goal, free kick, uh, I think that uh, you have to start directly. Uh, you have to start in front of you. But two players uh, were a bit... Uh, too enthusiastic, and that's the reason why there was no offside given, and uh, so it wasn't an offside. That's the, we have to learn from these uh, mistakes, and so next time, hopefully, it will not happen. And you know that the opponent will always get its opportunities, but you hope, you hope that it will not happen because of our own fault. fault. But these two goals, uh, I'm sure, were not necessary. Next question from uh, the Dutch broadcaster. We cannot see you, but uh, I will, uh, would like to congratulate both of you. I would like to ask you this question. First one uh, to Frank, if it's possible. We were uh, looking uh, here on the street, the Dutch fans on the street, they uh, are completely insane. 
after the uh, second goal, uh, two nil. But then they got so nervous. Could you please make it more easily for us to uh, for us as a fan? The next time, please. They asked. So uh, yes, I hope so. This, this is why we analyze uh, these type of games uh, almost until we die because we definitely hope not uh, do so again. So uh, yes, uh, let's say that uh, this will not happen again. Okay, one more question to Dan, so uh, please. Uh, we saw Depay uh, trying to get the uh, audience and the stand more enthusiastic. Is it important for you that uh, these fans um, um, are there and make some noise? What, can you hear them? What do you do to that? This is great playing for the fans again. It's an extra impulse we receive from them, and it's great that we uh, hear them again, that they are back in, in the stadium. It's an extra support for us, so yes, that's great. They were noisy. Um, I'm trying to look uh, for a connection uh, for Valentine Driesen. You can ask your question. Frank, first half, sensational high speed game, but then sometimes they uh, can break into your team uh, sometimes and break through the defense so easy. You were very vulnerable, don't you think so? There were a few moments that, uh, when we tried to uh, make a counter, but uh, they could uh, open up the game from left side to right side. We should be more clever in these type of uh, opportunities, uh, make a, sometimes also a fold to uh, stop the game. And you know that when you play uh, against a team like Ukraine, it's a good team. And um, when they um, when they encounter this uh, type of pressure from us, they are able to um, to play against it and find new opportunities. So we have to look for a better way. You cannot play uh, 90, 90 minutes without making a, a fault. That's of course what we like to see, but this is not um, uh, realistic. So. These things, uh, we will have to analyze them and see uh, in what way we need to improve. And then you have to um, try not to give away these uh, dangerous moments for the uh, opponent. What was so difficult um, to be there instead of just uh, standing there? Uh, you have to look for your position, try to look when you have to defend more, try to see when it's the moment you need to get into the penalty area of the opponent. I don't know how to explain, it's uh, just a feeling that you need to have and, uh, and during the trainings uh, we are also uh, paying attention to it and uh, yes, I feel good with We can have uh, two more questions, so Simon, congratulations. How have, have you um, spoken to players uh, either to the incident with the Christian Eriksen yesterday? For me, it was very difficult to see those images yesterday. We saw the game, of course, uh, live broadcasted, and uh, I had to leave the room. I, uh, I've uh, worked for five years with uh, Christian, and uh, as well, there were some players uh, in my team who uh, were. Yeah, were in contact or uh, still playing with him or had a good uh, bond with Christian when he played for Ajax. So, yes, it was uh, some kind of roller coaster last night. And uh, we had a meeting scheduled last night um, to talk about um, the, our tactical gameplay, but uh, we rescheduled it for tomorrow uh, for this day to, in the morning uh, because I didn't want to speak about football. Uh, um, so we did that um, this morning and everybody could uh, find his own moment and give his uh, feeling uh, his own space. Daily was uh, quite emotional as well. He had uh, uh, had some problems with his own heart, as you know, uh, so even now he's uh, one of his best friends, Christian Eriksen. 
uh, and you know, uh, now that the, kind of when you're uh, both at the tournament, the so they have fought yeah, for it. Yeah. Door, so, so, uh, so it's normal that uh, there are a lot of emotions uh, going through him uh, right now. So no, it was definitely not easy uh, for uh, for us, uh, yeah, for him especially. So we hear uh, good um, news coming from Denmark, so let's hope that uh, things will uh, get well for him. And now we need to uh, focus and uh, continue and focus on the most important thing next to the normal and the important life that's football. So that's what we did today. The last question is for Rick on the Dutch news website in one question, uh, Denzel. Do you think this was your best uh, game so far in your career? No, I don't think so. I finished the goal uh, in a great way, but no, I don't think it was my best uh, game so far. No, no, not the best match. Best goal in your career? Yes, until now, you definitely you could say so. The most beautiful? Yeah, I could say so. A big relief when I uh, finished it. Dankjewel Riepke, dankjewel uh, voor iedereen. Wij moeten er vandoor, anders gaat het bus.